<laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Can, can I have that? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let me read this. Yeah. Okay, so. Okay. <laughs> oh, Renee, I've got a, uh, I've got a two-part pro uh, question for you. Like, what was it like kissing Lucy Lawless? And <laughs> did you uh, did you get to rehearse? <laughs> oh, actually, it's three part part. Is it true? There's a rumor on the internet that you had to stand on a box. No, that, sorry, that Lucy had to stand on a box. Yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. there's a rumor on the internet that Lucy had to stand on a box when you were kissing. Absolutely. Is that true? <laughs> 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 okay. Just keep doing this. Hello. I'll do. I'll do. I'll do. After I, I direct you, I'll answer your question. Hello, Miss Lawless. How are you? Hello. Do you know who that guy is in the, in the green shirt? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Bart. Can I have a bottle of water, please? Let me know I'll get on stage. Oh, this way. Okay. Big time. I should have got a haircut for this one. Oh well. Too late now, huh? amongst yourself <laughs> trying to work out to this work old out mic thing, thing here. here. Right. I don't know how many people how many actually people have video have put video to them all. <laughs> <laughs> now I tell you, this Gabrielle outfit worked for a long time. <laughs> Maybe that's why they got rid of the headband. <laughs> So good to see all of you. So good. It's all right. I just got a bad leg, but I'll get there. How are you all? I'm so glad. Oh, I'm so glad. Wow. Now hang on. Let's put that right there. You're looking really good. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you're taking really good care of yourself. What are you eating? <laughs> you know, I was getting ready to come here today, and my great grandson. He said, Nana, where are you going? <laughs> I said, honey, I'm going to a convention. <laughs> you should have seen his face. A convention? But why? I said, because I'm going to see some old friends. <laughs> And that young boy looked at me and he said, Banana, why would you wear that? <laughs> I said, honey, because I can still get into it.
You know, took me back though. Old friends. Took me back to that last day of filming. I don't know if y'all remember that. I do. That last day. <laughs> I remember, I remember we had just completed that last shot. <sighs> we were waiting, you know, we were waiting for that gate to be cleared, the gate where there might be a hair or a scratch inside the camera. So I was waiting, and I got this feeling, a little bit of a nervous feeling, you know, like I knew something, something monumental was about to change in my life. Kind of sad. But I waited, and I heard this clear gate. And then old Rob Tapper came up. <laughs> God, I love him. He came up and he said for the first time that I could remember, and the last time, that's a wrap. It was a strange feeling. You know, you felt sad, but you felt happy. Pretty overwhelming. There's a lot of hugs, you know, there's a lot of kissing. <laughs> yeah, and then it suddenly, suddenly got really quiet, and we had, oh, honey, <laughs> and we had our lighting boys come over. These are a bunch of rough, tough-looking guys, you know, tender hearts. Can you hear me okay back there? No. no. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I'll try to speak up. My voice might crack a bit, but you'll hear me, right? So anyway, my rough and tumbly old light and voice, they came up, and everyone got really quiet. They started to turn their focus over to Lucy and I. I thought, this is really strange. And then they brought out this little box here, and they gave one to Lucy and I both. You see this? They gave us this box, and I opened it up, and I looked inside, and there was a piece of a green stone. Now in New Zealand, the Maoris, it's my Texas accent, the Maoris, <laughs> well, they call this a healing stone. And it represents the essence of the earth and divine energy. And I want to tell you that every crew member held this stone for as long as they wanted for as many days as they wanted. And they shared their love for us and for the show in this stone. Isn't that nice? I want to tell you though, our nurse Sally Ford said she slept with it. She slept with it and said she hoped that a dream would be revealed. But she said instead she woke up with a sore neck. Well, there you go. But anyway, there was more. Not only did they give Lucy and I each a piece of stone like this, and they fit like yin and yang, but the rest of the stone was split up into little pieces and passed around to every single crew member on that show so that together we made one whole part and one whole family. Now, I got to tell you. I gotta tell you, it took me a long time to get over those people. I miss them so much. <laughs>